Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a special video, a video essay entitled We the People, set to footage from me and Andrew at the 2017 San Jose Women's March. We the people. The promise of our country is self-governance. And while it may be the promise, it is certainly not promised. It takes effort, it takes participation, it takes sacrifice, it takes citizens who have the courage to speak their truth to power, as I did during this historic 2017 Women's March. Freedom is a complicated thing though, really. One person's freedom can unfortunately at times be achieved at the expense of another. This requires we the people to speak out and speak up, to ensure the casualties of freedom never nullify its promise. Women's rights, LGBTQ plus rights, voting rights, disability rights, income inequality, healthcare access, immigration, and climate justice all have inextricable consequences for the freedom of tens of millions of Americans. The fight for freedom's cause runs directly through these issues, not to be belittled as social issues. These are life issues. Our economy will only bring relief to a nation where freedom can thrive and justice can be served. This isn't something that I'm claiming as an aberration. History teaches us that nations can crumble if they dare to disregard such issues. It was Martin Luther King Jr. who said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Meaningful change takes time, but no matter how long it takes, the pillars of our republic will be nothing without we the people. If you were thinking of sitting this midterms out, I strongly encourage you to reconsider. If there's a question about your registration or your ability to vote, you can always vote provisionally. Please participate in this fragile experiment called democracy. Only through exercising our right to vote can we make it stronger.